Hi, this is Paul Evans from paulbevans.com. Don't be blown away by these screens. All I did was type into a Word document, and I'm going to scroll down the page. I felt like the information was critical, but I did not want to go and just blow your mind with some super-duper fancy PowerPoint or keynote presentation. I guarantee you, I won't do that. However, the information is critical. Over this series, I'm going to cover every step you will ever need to attain any goal you will ever set. Whatever it is that you want or desire in life, if you'll follow these steps, you will attain it. That's a pretty big promise, right? It sounds almost over the top and and sounds like it's, it's an impossibility. But I think by the end of this series, it'll really be locked in for you. You'll understand what it really takes to achieve and how you can get there. So step one out of these five steps, step one is purpose. Why is it that you're doing what you're doing? Is it a want or a wish? Is it a need or a necessity? And that's really important at the beginning because when I said you can reach any goal that you want to, that's the real question. Do you really want to? Or is this really just kind of a wish? Is it something that you're kind of wanting to do, you know, on the surface, but it's not really a need or a necessity? That's a have to. A want and a wish means that it's somewhat optional. A need or necessity means it's not optional. It absolutely has to get done. Roughly 90% of the goals that we set are wants and wishes. It doesn't mean that they're bad. It just means that they don't have enough focus, enough fire laced in them to make them worthy of our time and attention. Because the truth is, deep down, we do anything short term that we really want to do. But we do anything long term that we need to and is a necessity because they become infused in our life and they kind of become anchored in our life. And that's why you'll see some people will make a lifelong goal that really never ends. There's not a final destination, but instead they make a big change and it's there for the rest of their life. And so that's one of the new ways I'd like for you to to define goal or define your resolution is what are you setting that is really lifelong, that you're now entering into a lifelong journey and not simply a month's journey or a three months journey. You know, let's use the infamous weight loss. You know, so many people at the beginning of the year say, I want to lose 10 pounds and I want to lose 30 pounds. Well, the truth is you can attain that goal, but did you really set as a lifelong goal to say, I'm going to lose it, I'm going to keep it off, and I'm going to stay in shape the rest of my life? That's totally different than simply saying, I want to lose 10 pounds, I want to get in a little better shape. Now, people will talk about specificity and making it as, as clear as possible, and that's certainly part of this and I think that's part of this first step as well that whatever your want or wish is or whatever your need and necessity is that it's going to begin with that picture that visualization of why you need to do this and what it's going to look like at the end or in the experience maybe there's not an end destination but there's an experience you want to be able to visualize that and you want to have a clear reason as to why it's critical that you reach this goal. Not simply that you want to, but why is it critical? So I want to give you three types of goals. And in that, I think it's going to help you set your goals appropriately, see what you need to pursue and go after, and maybe even what you need to discard. The main reason that we don't reach our destination or our goal or whatever it is, is simply because we set the wrong goal or we got our goal confused. So three major types of goals. There's pleasure, there's passion, and there's purpose. Now, let's use guitar playing. I've always, quote, wanted to play guitar. But it was really because it was more of a pleasure thing for me. I had songs that I'd written or poems that I'd written that I wanted to put to music, and I thought it'd be nice if I knew how to play the guitar so I could put some music to these songs and I could play those for people, right? So it's pleasure. It would be fun to do. Now, here's a big part of the pleasure goal. If I don't achieve it, guess what? Life goes on. 
there's no real consequence to not achieving the pleasure goal. And I think that's critically important to ask ourselves at the beginning of our goal setting or renewal process or resolution process or even our business plan. If I don't achieve this, what's the big deal? And if we're really going to pursue something, there needs to be a big deal. So a pleasure goal is the absolute weakest goal we can set. Because often we don't complete it. Because there's no consequence if we quit. Now, Secondly, there's the passion goal. And this is something we are excited about. And we actually see ourselves doing long term, maybe even for life. And so we, you know, we say we want to play the guitar and we're passionate about it. We've got songs that we want to learn, songs that we learned in our childhood, songs we're listening to now, and we just think it's so much fun to play along, and when we have family reunions or gatherings, people will ask you to play, and it'll just be a blast, right? So it's passion. There's not necessarily any profit involved there, but there's some passion involved there. Now, what if you don't achieve it? Well, with pleasure, if you don't achieve it, it's no big deal. But with passion, if you don't achieve it, you're disappointed, kind of let down a little bit. But the truth is, life still goes on. Now, there might be some slight regret. You know, I wish I'd learned the guitar. I wish I'd spent more time doing that. I wish I'd put the time in. It would have just really been fun. Just think about all the fun we could have had by now. So we feel like we missed out and we're a little disappointed. But again, the bottom line is that our life isn't wrecked, right? All right, so now the third type of goal, which is the toughest, and that is the purpose goal. And this is the one that is the heaviest. It is the true heavy in the goal setting because when it comes to our purpose, the truth is if we don't complete it, if we don't do it, we feel like our life is incomplete. We feel like we missed our calling. We feel like we didn't do what we're really supposed to do. You think of how many people especially at my age, now that I'm in my mid-40s, and reflection begins. You know, we've lived long enough to be able to measure our life and look back and say, has what I've lived so far, what I've done so far, has it really counted? And the reason for midlife crisis, especially among guys, is that we look back and we feel like we didn't do what we were supposed to do. So what is it that you're really supposed to be doing? Instead of simply sitting down and making a list of stuff Why not be about a purpose? Why not set a goal that is going to help fulfill your life? Now, what is a purpose goal? And this is my personal definition. Purpose goal for me is that when I become better, in order for others to become better. That's why I love training and teaching, speaking, coaching, all of those things. Because my goal is to become better as a human being and help others become better as well. Whether that is in their personal life Or if it's in their professional life, I love being able to use my 24 years in business to help people grow their businesses. It's a blast to me, but it's also a lot of fulfillment. It's not just pleasure. It's not just passion. It's purpose. So here's the wild thing, that that when you're about purpose, you also find that there's pleasure and passion involved. But with pleasure, you can totally miss passion and totally miss purpose. With passion, you can gain pleasure, but you can totally miss purpose. But with purpose, you get all of it. So are you setting these tri-level goals, these purpose-filled goals that are going to allow you to accomplish things that are going to allow your life to become better and allow the lives of everyone around you to become better as well? So as you think about this year, what really needs to change? What needs to be altered? Has your income got to be altered? Well, there's some things you're going to need to do, and we're going to begin in the, in the next step to really hone in on what you've got to do to make your purpose or your passion or even your pleasure become a reality. But let's begin by setting your goal. What types of goals? So I'd list all your goals you want to do for the year, and I would put beside each one, whether it was pleasure, whether it was passion, or whether it was purpose. The things with purpose are the ones that I personally feel you need to put the most time and attention on because those are the ones that are going to bring value to your life and bring value to the lives of everyone else as well. So step one begins by knowing what the purpose is. Why is it that you want to attain this and what's going to be the outcome? How will your life be changed and how will the lives of those around you be changed because of this? So let's go back to the guitar example. 
if I was going to do it based on purpose, I'd say, I really want to learn guitar. But I want, you know, I feel like, I feel like I've got to, that if I don't learn it, I'm going to be incomplete. Well, what's the end result? Number one, you know, I gain a skill. I have fun doing it. I get to share original music. Uh, other people get to hear these lyrics and be emotionally connected to them. Maybe some people are going to hear the lyric, hear the story, feel like it's their story, and find hope and encouragement. So write down the depth of your goal. Not simply learn guitar. Not simply lose weight. You know, you write down lose weight. What's the purpose behind that? Well, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to feel better. I'm going to be healthier. I'm going to live longer for my friends or my family or for you know others in my life. But then how are they going to be impacted? I'm going to have more security. I'm going to be more confident. I'm going to be more bold and paying them attention because I don't feel so bad physically. You see, you see how that works? So this is really the first key step of everybody that I've seen that has achieved everything that they want in life is that they were setting goals based on a purpose, based on the accomplishment, the achievement, or even the process of reaching this goal led to fulfillment and led to significance. The next uh, training I'm going to share with you, step two, which is going to allow you to take your goal and really ramp it up and at- achieve it. It's going to contain really all the, the inside steps in step two of achievement. And what's going to be weird about this is that it's not going to include a plan. You know, so often we say, all right, set the end result, and then you plan it out and you get there. It's going to be a little bit different. So keep your mind open for it, and we'll see you tomorrow. This is Paul Evans from paulbevans.com. Success is not an accident.